So let's talk about asbestos and cancer. To be very clear, all types of asbestos are carcinogenic. And I want this to be clear because there are some people who work in the asbestos industry for years that tried to say chrysotile asbestos, which as you learn in part one is the most commonly used type. They tried to say that chrysotile asbestos is somehow different and it won't make you sick. That's absolutely false and you don't have to take my word on it. Instead, you can look at this standard medical textbook, Asbestos Risk Assessment, Epidemiology and Health Effects by Dodson and Hammer, who are giants of the medical industry as relation to asbestos. And they write, there is no doubt that asbestos, for example, amphibole asbestos, such as chrysotile and amosite, and Canadian chrysotile can cause lung cancer, most often in combination with cigarette smoke. And the International Agency for Research on Cancer has classified asbestos as a group one carcinogen, meaning it causes cancer in human. And they, by name, call out Canadian chrysotile because Canada, for so many years, had such an industry with selling their chrysotile that they really were resistant to accepting the fact that it was hurting and killing people. It does. Here's what the World Health Organization and IARC has to say. All commercial forms of asbestos fibers are associated with an increased risk of mesothelioma and lung cancer. And they recognize that there are some controversies about, geez, is chrysotile more likely or less likely to cause cancer than the other types? Science doesn't know that, and they're still researching it. But as they say at the bottom, all forms and sizes of commercial asbestos fibers are carcinogenic to humans. If you meet somebody who tells you that any particular type of asbestos can't cause cancer, don't listen to them. They're wrong. And quite frankly, they're probably getting paid by the asbestos industry to tell you that. 